Okay, let's try. And Scorch Beast is dead. Hey, fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle, and today I have for you a true endgame build the Iron Man Ultimate VATS Assisted Heavy Gunner. If you need to resupply on liquid energy for the new year, now it's the time. It's the sale. Buy one, get one on selected G Fuel products that you can see on the screen. And as always, link in video description. Check it out. I would like to say if you are low level, you can adapt this build, but probably you actually can't, as this build is a true end game. It's burned through resources. That's one of the reasons I actually am using this build. I want to burn through some of the resources I accumulated for the ultimate power. Although it works very well without using anything in particular as any heavy gunner build, but we want more than just a good heavy gunner build. And here we go with this ultimate endgame build, the Iron Man. And now let's start step by step what we have in here. About our special distribution, you can see it in here, strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence and luck. Important thing about luck, it is 15 in here and legendary luck on top of that. And reason for that is recharging criticals without too much trouble. It is possible to play with just 15 base luck and still achieve 33 luck with consumables required to get critical every second shot. It's just so much harder that I changed my mind and I went for 20 luck as a base. Now legendary perks, as you can see, yeah, additional five luck, so 20 as a base, taking one for the team for ultimate damage, electric absorption for ultimate tankiness. Then we have three additional special, for my case, agility, endurance, and strength. Although it doesn't really matter which one you have, you can always swap around the base points to achieve the same total special as I do have. Although, Having all those legendary perks marks out, it's pretty much a must. And now here are the perks. The reason I have Ordnance Express under strength is only that I'm carrying a lot of explosives on me. It's not necessary for this particular build. I just don't want to dump those explosives. I want to keep them. The important perks, all the max out heavy gunner cards and traveling pharmacy for our boosts. Then under Perception, I have Butcher's Bounty for farming Scorch Beast Meat, especially Liva, that is used to boost our luck to get easily to 33 luck and Concentrated Fire. When you are not farming for any meat, you can of course swap for max out Concentrated Fire for a little bit extra damage and accuracy in VATs. Then under Endurance, this is a very interesting approach as stuff is changing compared to what I usually use under Endurance. Life Giver is usual stuff, extra tankiness always welcome, but then I have Lead Belly. And normally you would not see it on endgame builds, but this time, because I'm using lots of consumables to replenish my AP as I go, this extra Lead Belly helps me avoid micromanaging my rats whenever I consume something. So whatever I eat, Mass consumption do not affect my radiation. Then cola nut with extra cola products and how easy it is to get a lot of cola products now. It is amazing perk. And of course, fireproof is a standard. We want to be super tanky. Iron Man do not die easily. And someone sharing radical, which is nice. Then under charisma, it's standard, strength in numbers and tenderizer. So boosting mutations and extra damage. Intelligence only 9 in here, and we have batteries included, as you do need to carry a lot of cores. So this is a must. Night Rage for damage, and Stabilized for more damage. And no, there is no more intelligence, no more perks. I was thinking to squeeze in explosive into this build. It wasn't working very well, so I would recommend a separate loadout if you want to play with explosives. This one is energy weapons and vats and ultimate damage. 
Next, agility. We need through Haika as we'll be carrying lots of canned coffee. So reduction in canned coffee weight is pretty much mandatory. Then we have canned food that can be swapped for Born Survivor, depending on situation, what you need more. For farming, Ganfu is really good. Then max out adrenaline for damage and dodgy. Yes, you can be surprised. It's a VAT build, VAT's build and still dodgy. Yes, because can't coffee replenish VATs so quickly, our action points that we can use dodgy and we can pull off VATs heavy gunner build with a power armor. So yes, this build is absolutely top overboard, max out on everything. The show off build, the Iron Man, that's the name you want to show off. Next, luck. We have Class Freak. This one is not mandatory, but very helpful. If you don't want to run Class Freak, you can go for Bloody Mess or Ricochet, whatever you prefer, more damage, more tankiness. Then we have Curator. If there will be an occasional use of Bubblehead or something, not necessary, but what will I do with one point? Then Star Genes to keep mutations. Critical Savvy to get critical every second shot, as long as we have 30 free luck or in case of third star, 15% faster crit, 24 luck will do. Then good with salt is, yes, we are carrying a lot of meat products and we don't want them to spoil. After that, better criticals, extra 100% damage with criticals, and that's a VATS build. So there will be lots of criticals. Now in regards to the mutations. Our mutations are Adrenal Reaction for more damage, Bear Bones for extra agility, Carnivore because we want to easily achieve 33 luck. So the best way? Carnivore, the most products increasing luck. Eagle Eyes for extra crit damage, Egghead, it's not mandatory but extra experience, basically for free. Yes. Negatives are very mild. Unless you run without class freak, then you can drop that and don't use it. Health mentality extra special Y grouped. This is very good and almost necessary if you want to hit 33 luck. Marzupial for jumping and speed demon. Of course, speed and reload speed. Now the gear. Our armor is the full set of Union. And what I'm aiming for is weapon weight reduction on the third star. Although if you want to just be tanky, aiming for a full set of overeaters will be recommended. But if you are anything like me, you probably accumulated so many good weapons that there is no other way to move without this legendary effect. So that's what I'm aiming for. My pieces are not perfect, like Chameleon is totally useless, but AP refresh speed is good. Uh, Overeaters is good whenever you can get it. And if you can get one piece with extra luck, it will be very handy. As you can see, I have two pieces Overeaters and one of those comes with extra luck. It is helpful a little bit, not necessary, but makes it that my default luck is 24, so without absolutely any boost, my weapons that offer faster critical recharge can do criticals every other shot without any consumable or camp buff. About the helmet, we are using modification that increases VAT's accuracy, VAT's matrix overlay. Now, the weapons. For the weapon, for the base farming, I have this industrial pla prime plasma caster, which is basically paint. Industrial is a paint, and that's a plasma caster with vast hit chance, vampire, and faster critical refill. Took me quite a lot of rerolling to get this particular one, but I'm super happy with that. It's incredibly good for farming. You are basically immortal, everything dies. Perfect weapon, and you really want prime capacitor, a line sniper barrel. Those two modifications make it insanely efficient for day to day play and killing. If you want something else. Two shot will work perfectly fine. Aristocrats bloodied. Uh, Anti-armor will work as well. I really like extra VATS hit chance. Apart from that, we are going for this beauty. Two shot VATS critical damage, less AP cost, Gatling plasma. 
with following modifications you can see on the right. And this is the boss killer. Insane DPS. You spam coffee and then make it rain. And enemies, including all the bosses, melt from those criticals. Side effect, you are burning really fast through your fusion cores, but hey, it's an end game. You probably have a lot or you know how to farm a lot. So you can see I have 60 fusion cores and I have plenty of plasma cores for the weapon itself. And now let me demonstrate the weapons in action. So let's start from the farming weapon without applying any buffs. I can quickly show you. Currently, there is like no consumables going. Some zip effect, no other consumables. My special basic 24 luck. The farming mode. So you can see it is one should kill for a scourge. Very good accuracy in VATS. Uh, there's another scourge. He's dead. Even including like flying scourge beast. If I spam some criticals, I almost killed it. And it, it's dead. That was a legendary scourge beast with a farming setup, which is like no boosts at all and the farming vampire weapon and we have liver so that's great because now we'll be boosting a little bit i mean just our luck and basic food and i will show you this build again with some more damage for the key boosts we just need a camp item to give us extra luck for 30 minutes then we are applying chart scorch beast liver for extra luck with those two items we already have 33 luck, that's exactly what's required. And lastly, sweet mute fruit tea, quite easy to craft, extra 50% to our critical damage. It is based on fruits, but somehow works for carnivores, so that is a good option. And that's it, I don't actually need any more buffs, although I have them I could use, but that's the essentials. Just two food items and one camp item. And now we'll be using for farming my other option without extra fast critical recharge. So we need this slack, but that's two shot. Replenish action points with each kill. Reduced weight plasma caster. Let's use it on super mutants. And in a moment, I will show you how I'm using consumables. But first, let's attack those super mutants with this two shot plasma caster. Stop hiding. Okay, he's dead. When they turn around, I actually have low hit chance, so I need to get closer. That's a downside of a weapon without that hit chance. But as you can see, like, they they do die. They do die in just one shot, and those are level 100 super mutants, so they don't go any harder than that. And in case I run out of action points, I just pop one new cashier for quick AP regeneration. I'm saving coffee for when I need something, like when I have a tankier target, when I need a full power. When I don't need full power, I'm just using the coffee. It is good enough. I mean, uh, just a cola. Cola is good enough. And I have plenty of cola products. All of them, one shot. Easy kills. Criticals are overkill. Criticals are only reasonable if you want to get more accuracy. All of them. Okay, we need something tougher. In case you are playing on console and you cannot actually use a hot button, the quick button to pop your consumables in rapid succession, the workaround is to just open your food and drink category. Like in example, if you want to use coffee, go for canned coffee select it and then when you reopen on a food and drink category the canned coffee will be selected so then you can just tap the whatever button uses item and you will be able to pop multiple canned coffee so i will try to demonstrate it now going with the console version because this is the harder version and we are going to see how fast we can deal with this behemoth, if he can even wake up. Is he alive? Oh, okay, he is alive. Okay, let's see now. Can't coffee on this build. They just pop, I pop five. That's probably more than enough. Let's see how well he holds. And okay, the lag. And now, yeah, that's the kill. 
The lag is the biggest enemy of, of every build. <laughs> like the initial shots were last totally ignored by him who was just walking away. Oh, let's find something else. Let's see how fast can we drop a Scorch Beast. There is a Scorch Beast. Let's see if we will get a little bit more luck with a Scorch Beast. Okay, let's try. And Scorch Beast is dead. So that's the power of this build. That's the power of this build. There is like no enemy that can really stand against this build. You, you drain your resources. That's additional bonus. All the cores, fusion cores, plasma cores and so on. Kill enemies in no time, including bosses like Scorch Beast Queen and so on. If you are solo or with a team, you don't really need any help. You don't need any help. You can deal with everything by yourself because you are an Iron Man. You are the show of build. The show of build for you. The most powerful of them all. The build to rule them all. Endgame VAT supported Heavy Gunner. I hope you did enjoy it. And now, as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you in the next one.